Now that you know the debit and credit rules, we can go about communicating um, some transactions or translating English transactions into accounting. And we're going to be using an exercise in the book to do this, but before we do, let's recap what we know about the debit credit rules and the accounting equation. The first thing we know is that assets are increased by debits and decreased by credits. Now which other category up here acts like assets? In other words, debits increase them and credits decrease. You're right. It's the totally other side, which are the expenses. Expenses are increased by debits and decreased by credits. <laughs> the, the liabilities, stockholders' equity, and revenue accounts act the exact opposite, don't they? So how do I remember this? Well, I kind of think of the accounting equation as a, as a sandwich. And notice the two pieces of bread, the outside items, act one way, and the filling of the sandwich acts the exact opposite. So the bread, assets, and expenses are increased by debits and decreased by credits, and the filling, whatever your kind of sandwich you like, um, act the opposite. Debits decrease, credits increase. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to do an exercise in the book, and I'm just going to uh, share it with you and you're going to tell me what to do. It says in A, paid for supplies purchased on credit last month. Now, they give you the answer to this one. Paid for supplies purchased last month. Well, I need a debit and a credit. Paid means the cash account goes down. So I know I credit cash for however much I paid for those supplies that I purchased last month. Now last month I recorded or increased the supplies account. So what am I really doing here? Paid for supplies purchased last month. Couldn't they have just as easily said, paid my bill? Yeah. So what's the debit? Well the debit is to accounts payable because what I'm doing here, paid for supplies purchased last month using my credit card, is I'm paying my credit card bill, aren't I? So it's debit accounts payable, credit cash. The next one states received cash. Ooh, I know that one. If I receive cash, does my cash go up? You bet. So I'm debiting cash. Now why did I get cash? Well, let's see. Received cash from customers billed last month. So did I send the customers bills last month because I did some work for them last month? Yeah. So what's really happening here is, are the customers paying their bills? You bet. So I'm debiting cash because the customers are paying their bills, which we know is the account, accounts receivable. So the first one, we're paying our bills. Second one, customers paying their bills to us. Let's look at the third one. It says, made a payment on an account payable. Well, if I'm making a payment on an account payable, is my accounts payable going down? In other words, am I debiting accounts payable? And the only thing that will pay accounts payable is what? Cash. So made a payment on accounts payable, notice is a different way of saying what we did in the first one. Are those exactly the same sentence? Yeah, same debit and credit. We just used English differently. Okay, let's try one more. It says purchase supplies on credit. Well, if I purchase supplies on credit, supplies, the asset is increasing, so I should debit supplies. Purchase supplies. Now, did I buy these supplies using cash or did I use them on credit? Credit. So that must mean my credit card. So if I whip out my credit card, that means I'm promising I'll pay my credit cards in the future or accounts payable. So notice it's debit supplies, credit accounts payable. Stay tuned. We'll do some more of these.